Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Linux onto a USB thumb drive. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up your web browser and you want to go to www.linuxliveusb.com. So we're going to download this tool, which is Linux Live USB Creator. It runs on Windows is extremely easy to use as you'll see and it pretty much automates a lot of the process of actually installing Linux onto a USB thumb drive so to get a copy we're just going to click on this download tab over here and we're going to click on this download link just down here and yes I want to save it to my desktop now at this stage, as installing any software in Windows 7, you want to make sure you've got administrator privileges or you know the password to the administrator account so that you can install this. Now I'm logged on as an administrator so I'm just going to double click on it. And here's the installer. So the first step is to select your language. Um, English is good for me. And we're just going to click next to this and this is the destination that I want to install it in that's fine so we're going to click install now okay installation is completed so we're just going to click next and yes I do want to run Linux Live USB Creator now so when I click finish it will open up uh, just a quick note if you haven't already done so I'd recommend plugging in your USB key now so the Linux Live USB Creator will actually pick that up and add it into an allowed device to actually install Linux on. So I'm just going to click finish because I've already done that. And here's Linux Live USB Creator. So as you can see it's all in steps ranging from step 1 to step 5. So all you have to do is start at step 1, work your way down the list and you'll have a Linux USB key. So the first step is to choose your key. I'm going to select this, which I know is my USB key. And if you notice here, we had a green light on the traffic lights over here, which basically tells us that we can move down to the next step. So let's go to step two, which is to choose a source. Now Linux Live USB Creator allows you to install Linux from multiple sources. So we can either install it from an ISO image or zip file. We can install it from a CD if we have a Linux CD lying around or we can choose to download a fresh copy of our chosen distro. So I'm going to click on download as it's the easiest way to go through this if you've never done it before and it says here to select your favorite Linux. So as you can see in this drop down list there are tons and tons and tons of versions or distros as they're called of Linux and I'm going to select Ubuntu 11.10 10, which is the current version and it's the distro of Linux that I use so why not put it on a USB key so I'm just going to click on that and now I've got these two options here which are to manually or automatically download this version of Linux that I've selected now if I click manually, I'll have to choose a download mirror, which is uh, just a server on the internet that has got this version of Linux on it for me to download, or I can click automatically. Now what this will do is it will find the fastest place for me to download my chosen version of Linux. So I'm going to click automatically. And as you can see, it's testing mirrors to find the fastest. And it found one. So I'm just going to select the desktop and click OK. And now we'll just wait for it to download. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back when it's finished. OK, so it finished downloading and it ran some checks on the file that was downloaded to make sure that nothing happened to it while it was downloading and everything checked out okay 
So we got the green light and now we can go on to step three, which is persistence. Now this step, you can choose one of two different ways to approach it. If you just want to create a live Linux key or Linux live key without having to, well, without having the ability to save any of your files on it, you can just go ahead and go down to step four or five. But I want to be able to save some files on this key and save any changes that I make to the operating system in the future. So I'm just going to take this slider here and I'm just going to slide it all the way to the end to make use of all the space available for me for persistence. Or I should have said to me for persistence. So that's all checked out and we got a green light. So let's go on to step four, which is the options. So hide created files on key, it's already ticked. It's fine, let it hide them. Format the key in FAT32. Now, if your key isn't formatted in FAT32, I'd recommend you definitely do this. If it is, um, I'd still recommend that you do it because there may be some hidden files on the key that were put there by different operating systems. Um, so it's always a good idea to just have a fresh format for Linux Live USB to work with. So I'm just going to click Format. And the third option is to enable launching Linux Live in Windows. Now, this option will allow you to plug your USB key in after you've booted up your computer into Windows and it will, it will allow you to run the Linux distro that's on your key within a window like any other application in Windows. Now I don't need or want this feature so I'm not going to tick it but you can tick it if you want and play about with it, see what it looks like, it's totally up to you. So I'm finished with step 4 now so I'm going to move on to step 5 which is to create the key. So it says click the lightning icon to start the installation. So I'm going to do what it says and click it. And now it's telling me, are you sure that you want to format this disk and lose your data? Yes, I am, because there's nothing on there that I care about. So I'm going to click OK. And now it's formatting the key. And now we're extracting the image onto the key. So while that does that, I will just pause the video here and come back when it's done. Okay, so Linux Live USB Creator finished creating your USB key and as it says here, your Linux Live key is now up and ready. Um, during the process of creation, it also did some um, partitioning and the creation of your persistence file. Um, but that's totally normal. All of it's once you get down to step five, um, it's pretty much automatic. Just let it run and wait until it's finished. It can take varying amounts of time depending on the speed of your USB key, the speed of your computer, the size of the distro that you're putting on there, and yeah, your mileage may vary. So. All you have to do is, once you get to step 5, click the lightning bolt and wait for it to finish. And ours has. Um, and there you go. Now you've got Linux running on a USB key. Feel free to experiment with it. Do what you like. Um, and have fun. So, that's the end of that tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook and Twitter. Details on the screen now. Show notes are available as always at linuxleech.com. Thanks again and goodbye.